Let's look at number eight on the Foundations of Reading exam. I'll read it over first. It says, a kindergarten teacher asks a small group of students to repeat after her. First, she says the word grape and then pronounces it as gr and ape. Next, she says the word take and then pronounces it as t and ache. This activity is likely to promote the student's phonemic awareness primarily. And then we have four options, A, B, C, and D. Now, before I read this, let's just look at the activity here for a kindergartner. We always want to ask ourselves for a kindergartner or for preschool, is this a sound activity or is this a print activity? For a kindergartner, it's not really going to be phonics or fluency or, or reading comprehension. Those would be too advanced. So anything involving those, we could cross out. It could be something involving sound or phonological and phonemic awareness or print, early, early basic alphabetical principle and basic, basic phonics. Well, in this activity, it has to do with the teacher having the students repeat a word using oral language. So it's all oral language here. It says and repeats. There's no mention of print. And the words that we're working with are grape. I'm taking grape and chunking or breaking it into the initial sound and the end sound in that single syllable word. Now we call that onset and rhyme. And the teacher is orally doing it with the words grape and take. So this is involving onset and rhyme, isolating sounds in a word. It falls under phonemic awareness. Now let's look at our answer choices here. A, helping them recognize distinct syllables in oral language. Let's highlight the word syllables. This isn't an activity where they're saying uh, how many syllables in wonderful, where the student claps out the syllables they hear in that multi-syllable word, wonderful. And if it, if it was an activity involving that, we'd be looking for something at an intermediate level, a syllable level, but we're not because this is one definitely involves isolating individual sounds, not individual syllables. So A is not the answer. It's more of an intermediate sound activity involving the syllables, hearing the syllables in a word. What about B? Encouraging them to divide words into onsets and rhymes. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. We're take, the teacher's taking grape and breaking it into its onset, gr, and its rhyme, ape. Taking take and breaking it into its t onset and its rhyme, ache. And this is more advanced hearing, so it falls under that phonemic awareness phoneme level. B is the answer. I'll put a smiley face on B. Let's just rule out these others real quick. C, teaching them how to distinguish between consonants and vowels. Now, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Consonants and vowels are letters, and letters are print. We can cross it out just for that reason. Let's go to D. Promotes an awareness of letter sound correspondence. What's letter sound correspondence? Well, that's phonics. And in this case, it involves letters, which again has some print in it. And this teacher is doing purely a sound activity. Again, we could cross it out. So it's important to you not only to get the right answer, but start to see why some of these choices are wrong. Like if you know it's a sound activity, okay? C, Y, C, and D are wrong because they involve print. If you can do more of that, you're going to get more right. Because the more you cross off that are wrong, it gives you a greater chance of getting the correct answer. But you want to make sure you have an awareness of why B is right and the others are wrong. Okay? This will help you. It will build your overall awareness on this test of these ideas. So you won't be tricked when you take this test. All right, let's go to the next one. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.